Hello, and welcome to the section of the Algebra Tutor. Uh, in this section, we're going to cover how to multiply and divide these real numbers, which are just negative and positive numbers. Now, I have to say that, again, with multiplying and dividing negative and positive numbers, it can confuse students some. The truth is, to be totally honest with you, multiplying and dividing numbers in algebra, negative and positive numbers, is actually easier than adding and subtracting negative and positive numbers. And I'm totally serious about that. And you'll see why in just a second. So it can get a little confusing with the rules, but the only way to combat that is just to work the problems. I mean, you have to work them and work them and work them. And when you're done working these, go find a book and work some more, work some more. Check your work with a calculator and make sure you can do it by the back of your hand. Because if you can't, if things in the future of algebra are gonna seem harder than they really are. None of this stuff is hard. You just have to know how to tackle it. So let me start out much like I did in the last section and write the little rules down and then we'll work a ton of problems to give you practice. So when you're multiplying or dividing, um, you know, back in second grade, I think you probably know that two times two is four, for instance. So in that case, a positive number multiplied or divided by a positive number always gave you a positive number. So two times two is positive two times positive two is positive four and so on. Positive 10 divided by positive five gave you a positive two. So this applies to everything you've done, you know, in second grade math, third grade math up until now. When you start introducing negative numbers, you're going to have cases when you have negative numbers multiplied or divided by negative numbers. Now, this might surprise you, but when you have this going on, you actually always get a positive number back. It's just the fact, the way it is. Uh, and then when you have, uh, let me go ahead and draw a little divider here, a negative number multiplied by a positive number or a positive number multiplied by a negative number, you're always going to get a negative number in the end. So these are the rules of multiplying and dividing. So this is how to multiply and divide real numbers. And I'm going to, you know, agree with you that it is a little confusing at first, mostly because we did very similar rules with addition and subtraction, and those rules were different. The reason those rules were different is because when you're adding and subtracting numbers, you're really thinking about that number line, and you're moving left, or you're moving right, and so on. So we, we simplified all that number line business to a few rules for you to remember. We talked about those in the last section, and hopefully you're really, really good at that. Multiplying and dividing are actually easier than adding and subtracting, though, because you know, if you remember back to the case when they had different signs, see this is the case here, different signs of the numbers that you're multiplying or dividing. When we did addition and subtraction, I told you that the sign of the answer was going to depend on the problem. In other words, which it was going to depend on which number was bigger. Basically, we did that a lot. When you add and subtract numbers that are different signs, you might have to subtract to get the number, and then the sign of the answer depends on the, on the sign of the bigger number, and you have to go look at that stuff. Well, for multiplying and dividing, it's easier. If you have negative 12 divided by positive 3, the answer is going to be negative, always. If you have negative, you know, positive 10 divided by negative 1, the answer is negative, always. You don't have to look at the sign of the numbers in the problem to figure out what the sign of the answer is. It's always going to be a universal thing. So just to recap one more time, to recap one more time, Positive number multiplied or divided by a positive number always gives you a positive number. Negative number multiplied or divided by another negative number is always going to give you a positive number. And then when they're different signs, you're always going to get negative numbers. I really think that the easiest way to get practice